Hi again everyone, welcome to this week's video from Tuesday Guitars and this week we're going to look at a Candy Apple Red Deluxe Series Thinline Telecaster from Fender. Back in 2015 at the guitar show held in Birmingham Fender displayed a series of guitars. This guitar was one of the guitars displayed. I contacted Fender by email and asked them about the guitar and the series of guitars. They said that it was a new guitar in a Deluxe Series line that was going to be available later on in the year. The one hanging on display was actually a Markinson sample. Shortly after, Fender decided to cancel the run of guitars and what stock they did have were released as an FSR. The guitar was resurrected in 2016 with slightly different specs. The guitars were made in Mexico, the guitars also came in a sunburst finish and the total run for the guitars included only 88 Telecasters. As you can see, it's a thin line Telecaster and it's what's known as a 69 thin line Telecaster. It has the single coil pickups, the elongated pickguard, and the F hole at the top of the body. It's finished in candy apple red and under the finish is an older body. It has a four ply perloid pickguard, two Tex Mex single coil Telecaster pickups, a vintage style Tele Bridge with three back saddles. Usual tele controls, master volume, master tone, and three way selector switch. As you can see, it's got the F hole at the top of the body, it has a side mounted jack input, and it has white body binding to the top of the guitar. The back has the through body stringing and a blank four bolt neck plate. The neck is made of maple and it has a maple fingerboard. It has 21 medium jumbo frets and a modern C-shaped neck profile. It has black top position inlays, scale length of 25.5 inches, a fingerboard radius of 9.5 inches and a 42mm synthetic bone nut. The headstock has one string tree and as you can see it has the Spaghetti Fender Telecaster logo, also says made in Mexico and right at the end of the headstock it says Deluxe Series. We have standard cast seal Fender tuners and of course the serial number. So next we'll give you a little introduction to the pickups. We'll do each position in turn on the three way selector switch and we'll start off with the neck pickup. The amp we're going to be using again today is our Vox Mini Super Beetle. So this is the first position and it's neck pick up on its own. So that was the neck pickup, and now we'll go to the middle position, which is the neck and bridge pickups together. That was the middle position and now we'll go to the final position which is the bridge pickup on its own.
that was the bridge pickup on its own and that was just a little introduction to the pickups on the Fender Deluxe Series Thinline Telecaster. So that's the 2015 Deluxe Series Fender Thinline Telecaster, a marketing sample of only 88 Telecasters produced. It features a candy apple red finish over an older body, four ply payload pickguard, two Tex Mex single core pickups, vintage style tele bridge with three brass saddles, master volume, master tone, and three way selector switch, side mounted jack input, white body binding to the top of the guitar. Three body stringing, four bolts of blank neck plate, and an F hole to the top of the guitar. Maple neck, maple fingerboard, 21 medium jumbo frets, standard fender, scale length of 25.5 inches, 9.5 inch fingerboard radius, black dock position inlays, and a C shape neck profile. 42mm synthetic ball nut, fender, spaghetti. Telecaster logo, also says made in Mexico on the headstock, on string tree and deluxe series right at the tip of the headstock. And we have six standard cast seal tuners. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Defender Deluxe series thin line Telecaster. If you did, please hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos about the gear and guitars in my collection, please hit the subscribe button. Please feel free to leave any comments below and please do check out our new series What the FSR Is That? where we take a look at the best FSRs available from Fender. Hope you'll join us again soon for another video from 2 Guitars and until then it's bye for now.